Isha, well, there is an old saying that baseball is as American as apple pie and Chevrolet added to the city of Aurora, uh, that list, because apparently they've been playing the game in the West Suburban City since just after the Civil War. Yeah, that love of America's game is on display as Aurora's Historical Society has launched a new exhibit dedicated to all things baseball. We've got an inside look for you, courtesy of the director there, John Geralds. Good morning to you. Good morning, Scott and Nina. Yeah, well, nice your timing time. couldn't be better because we've launched a new baseball season. But I didn't know as I was researching this story last week about Aurora's rich history. Anita mentioned it. We're going way back to post-Civil War when they started playing baseball out in Aurora. Yes, uh, right around the end of the Civil War era in the 1860s, we had uh, the game starting to become popular. And then through the 1870s and the succeeding decades, uh, it grained gained even greater popularity. And uh, we had lots of uh, many, many local teams and neighborhood teams, clubs, uh, the churches, different organizations. Uh, you have a picture here of our uh, downtown Aurora site, the, the Pierce Art and History Center. There's the center uh, piece of the exhibit. Uh, we also had a, a great tradition of fast pitch softball in Aurora with the Seal Masters. Uh, this picture is uh, the Aurora Minor League team in 1911, and we're back to the uh, Art and History Center in downtown Aurora. Oh. Uh, we've had so many different uh, iterations of baseball and softball. Uh, again, fast pitch softball uh, came around in the 1920s and 1930s, played with a little bit bigger ball, but um, you know, just as fast pitching and uh, Aurora was a great center for that. Um, and, and here, uh, Pugs Colts on, on the team of the 1890s. Uh, really interesting the, uh, stuff you've got there. Uh, out of all of the images that you know, you've know you seen that are out there, and we've seen some of them here uh, as they scroll through, which one do you think are going to impress people the most? Well, you know, there's a couple of pictures. Uh, there's a couple of very early pictures. Uh, we've got one. Uh, well, for instance, Pugs Colts here is a, a great pose, and uh, I'd like to point out the, uh, uh, the young man holding the baseball in the middle, uh, the young man of color, later became a uh, uh, star in the Black Professional uh, Baseball League. Hmm. And, uh, well, that's interesting. Uh, I think there's a, there's a picture of the, uh, the Aurora Minor League team. Oh, well, here's, there here's one because it's the Cubs. It's the Aurora Cubs from 1907. Nice. Uh, all right, all right, that so was it's, a popular name. It's COVID. What do you want people to know uh, about reservations and social distancing and all that good stuff? Well, well, here's the thing. Uh, I have to tell you, this is what we call, uh, this is a, a mini exhibit, and this is what we call a window exhibit. Right now, we actually are, are closed because of COVID. Okay. So we've been mounting exhibits in the front part of our museum and our museum shop that can be seen through the window. So anyone on the street so passing by uh, can come by at any point and look through the windows and, and see all of this. And it's, it's a good view. And in fact, it's lit at night. So anytime at night um, after dark, you can come in and it's fully lit, so it stays lit till uh, about one in the morning. Oh, that's pretty cool. We like that. Hey, thank you so much for coming on this morning and, and talking with us about this. Uh, it's exciting. It's nice to learn a little bit about our history. I didn't know a lot of what you were talking about this morning. That's really cool. Well, thank you both. Happy thank to you. be here. Thank you.